Since the first time we met, I knew nothing but suffering from her eyes. Eyes that could endure no more, that screamed for an end to the anguish and pain. Teresa always had that look in her eyes, the same look that was in mine. and blood! These friends of yours? Interesting. There were five of them. It seems that you fought and killed four of the creatures by yourself. The fifth one escaped and would have killed a woman right outside of town had we not saved her. Or was this an attempt at foolish bravery? Not really. I arrived here early and realized they were regular Yoma. I then decided to proceed and confront them head on. I think you mean fortunately. If they were voracious eaters, then you'd be the one lying in the street right now instead of them. Well, unfortunately, they were just normal Yoma. Interesting. I'm going to inform the organization about your disobedience. Wait. You mean you thought they were voracious eaters? You told me that they were just normal Yoma. Taking them on all by yourself is crazy. Claire, you really shouldn't be so reckless. All right, Rocky. I'll keep that in mind for the future. I have to admit, I do admire your courage. What would you have done if they really were voracious eaters? But you have no idea what you're up against when it comes to voracious eaters. You see, we use voracious eater as a code word. Publicly, it's much easier to explain what those creatures are by referring to them as such. Well, I can see that you're just as careless as ever. Oh, what am I talking about? You were hoping that was the case, am I correct? They are born from the failures of our own ranks. Of course, as far as the public is concerned, they're just Yoma who have lived a very long time. What we're actually talking about here are awakened being. If you were ever to face a true voracious eater, an awakened being, then remember this. It is quite certain you'd be dead in a matter of seconds. Your lack of faith in my skills is unfortunate. Goodbye. It's Priscilla. You want to take Priscilla's head, am I right about that? And her awakening unleashed all of her latent power. When it comes to awakened beings, our policy has always been to treat them just like any other Yoma. So what if a job comes in where we're supposed to take down Priscilla? If that were to happen, then our organization's total strength would be brought down upon her. Don't worry. Our top warriors are quite capable. I'm confident they could bring her down. Very well. I'll add your name to a team that's been assigned to an awakened bee. It's a job in the mountains west of here. Apparently, it's the result of a warrior who sees just how competent you really are. Teresa. You're supposed to be meeting in this town? That's right. She's really going to fight a voracious eater this time. Claire's a great warrior. She'll be fine. Follow me. You're the last one to arrive. The rest are already here. I see you brought the brat with you. No, I'm going to leave him in town. We'll look for an inn after this meeting. I get it now. He's a little toy you carry around with you. You know, for such a latecomer, you have quite an attitude. Helen and Deneva, put them away right now. However, we need to get started. The voracious eater we'll be hunting is on Mount Pablo, just south of here. For now, I would like everyone to introduce themselves and tell us your rank. We'll be heading out tomorrow morning. I am known as Media. I will be your commanding officer on this hunt. I have a ranking of six. This mission will be my seventh hunt for a voracious eater. The name is Helen, my ranking is 22, and I don't have any experience hunting these creatures. So they all have rankings. My name is Deneva, my ranking is 15, and I've been on two other hunting journeys. My name's Claire. I have never encountered a voracious eater. I am 47th, within the organization. Oh my god, did you hear that, Deneva? This one said she was only a 47. Shut up! What's so damn funny? Don't you dare laugh at Claire. She's killed hundreds of Yoma. 
The way it works with us is that we're each assigned a different territory within this continent. If our number says how strong we are and she is 47, then that means... That's right. Out of all of us, your friend here is the weakest one of all, hence her ranking at the bottom. She's the weakest of the Claymores. I'll leave these with you for now. You can spend it on whatever you like while I'm gone. So you'll be back soon? In one week? I will be just fine. And when I tell you something, I need you to trust me, understood? What a surprise. You kept us waiting again. Let's move. You've been awfully quiet today, Claire. What's the matter? Are you having trouble functioning without your boy to keep you warm? <laughs> Helen and Denova, stop. I won't tell you again. Our success on this mission depends on how well we work as a team. Each member is crucial to our survival. Yes, ma'am. I just hope she doesn't get in the way. We'll set up our camp here for tonight. We should be well within range of our target by tomorrow. Anyone else dying for some dinner? I guess I'll go try to find something to eat. I don't think I know anybody that eats as much as you. I'd like to see you outside, please. It'll only take a minute. I challenge you to a sparring match. I just want to get a feel for everyone's capabilities. To be honest with you, I'm having a hard time believing that's your rank. It doesn't mesh with my initial impression of your skill level. When I first saw you, I thought I was looking at the most powerful being I'd ever met. So now we'll see. Here goes. I've never seen anyone so amazingly bad. I've seen enough. Go and get some rest now. You'll need to recover your strength for tomorrow. So what are we going to do now, Miria? It really doesn't look like she's going to be much help to us tomorrow. I thought I made myself clear on this subject. Our superiors made the call and we're going to follow orders. That's it. Oh well, I've seen enough. Even if she were to die of exposure tonight, it wouldn't make a difference to the job. <laughs> Teresa. We're leaving, so stand up and get yourself together. We're going to go ahead and take off. You might want to stay here if you value living. See you around. Come on, you're not really going to let her fight. It would be like sentencing her to death. I don't appreciate repeating myself. Our orders still stand. Ugh. Hey! Over here! How you doing, ladies? We've been waiting for you Claymores for quite some time. I tell you, it's really great to see that you all made the journey out here so quickly. If you Claymores want to follow me, I'll show you which direction you need to go. No! The organization gave us wrong information. We were told that we would be battling just a normal voracious eater. of us to take on something of this magnitude. Oh no, you have got to be kidding me. What is it? A male awakened being? 